The steep turn maneuver is practiced in order to develop the pilot's smoothness, coordination, orientation, division of attention, and control techniques while executing high performance turns. The steep turn maneuver consists of two 360 degree turns in opposite directions, using a bank steep enough to cause an overbanking tendency during which maximum turning performance is attained and relatively high load factors are imposed. The commercial PTS requires that a 50 degree bank angle be established and maintained within 5 degrees. The setup for a steep turn in the arrow is typical of many other commercial maneuvers. First, ensure that the MRA of 1500 feet AGL for dual flights and 2000 feet AGL for solo flights has been met. Make applicable practice area radio calls and complete a comprehensive scan of the practice area by doing two complete 90 degree clearing turns. For a steep turn, we will use the B-GUMP acronym for configuring the aircraft. Boost pump will be off, gas will be to the fullest tank, undercarriage will be up, mixture will be rich, and the propeller should be set to 2400 RPMs. Finally, take care to adjust the airspeed to a trimmed and stabilized 110 knots in airspeed before beginning the first turn. The steep turn execution will consist of an entry phase, the 360 degree turning phase, and finally the rollout. During entry, make a smooth transition to 50 degrees of bank while maintaining coordination by smoothly increasing rudder pressure. The roll-in can be described by applying smooth aileron pressure in the direction of turn, applying significant back elevator pressure to keep the nose level with the horizon, and adding a small amount of power to overcome the increase in induced drag. Errors during this maneuver will typically occur if the roll-in is not executed properly. Commonly, the pilot will fail to add enough back pressure to maintain the aircraft's vertical component of lift in the turn. Therefore, the nose will drop below the horizon and altitude will be lost. Due to the increase in total lift, there will be an increase in angle of attack, load factor, and as a result, induced drag. If power is not added to overcome this drag, airspeed will suffer and begin to drop below the desired 110 knots. Once established in the turn, it is the pilot's responsibility to maintain coordination of the flight controls with aileron, rudder, and elevator and maintain the desired bank angle, altitude, and airspeed. Steep turns are considered a VFR maneuver so most of the pilot's attention should be referenced outside of the aircraft to watch the horizon for altitude deviations as well as scan the sky for other traffic. Horizon reference is key during this maneuver for pitch information. Develop a mental picture of what the nose of the aircraft looks like in relation to the horizon. If the nose drops below the horizon, increased back pressure will be required to arrest the aircraft's descent. If the nose rises above the horizon, back pressure must be released in order to keep the aircraft from climbing. Once a stabilized turn is established, the pilot must then simply divide his or her attention by making quick glances in and out of the cockpit to visual references to verify that everything is progressing smoothly. Pitch, bank, and power adjustments should be made smoothly and in small increments so as to not over control the aircraft and destabilize the turn. Due to the fact that the airplane is in a very steep turn, the outside wing will be moving faster than the inside wing. This condition will cause what is known as an overbanking tendency because the outer wing will be producing more lift than the inner wing. Take note that opposite aileron inputs may be needed at times to counteract this tendency. The rollout can simply be the reverse of the control inputs that were needed during the entry. As you anticipate your rollout heading, Plan the rollout about half of your bank angle before your desired rollout heading. For instance, if the aircraft were at a 50 degree bank angle, then the pilot should begin rollout 25 degrees early of the desired rollout heading. This will allow for a smooth and precise rollout. Pitch should be adjusted by releasing back pressure as the wings level out and power should be reduced to maintain 110 knots. At this point, the pilot can either roll in to the second opposite direction turn or simply finish the maneuver by maintaining a trimmed and level attitude at 110 knots. As training progresses in the aero, the pilot should hold themselves to commercial PTS standards. 
The PTS requires that the pilot maintain plus or minus 100 feet of the entry altitude, plus or minus 5 degrees of bank angle during the turn, with an actual bank angle of 50 degrees, plus or minus 10 knots of airspeed, and plus or minus 10 degrees of rollout heading. During your training, be sure to reference the Airplane Flying Handbook, Chapter 9, and the UND Aero Standardization Manual, Chapter 3. Good luck and fly safe.